Hello students. In general mathematics lesson two, we will be dealing with solving rational equations. One thing to consider when you solve rational equations is to find first its LCD. At the end of this video, you will be able to find the LCD of a rational equations. What is an LCD? LCD stands for the least common denominator which is the smallest number that is divisible by all denominators. Now, let me kind of explain this because a lot of students got confused when you start talking about LCD and LCM. LCM is the least common multiple of two or more numbers. When we talk about LCD, it is the least common multiple of all denominators. Okay? LCD is used when we are working with fractions. We just take the denominators, find its LCM, and that is the LCD. Let's have this first example. Find the LCD of the rational equation 1 over x plus 4 over x is equal to 5 over x. Observe, the denominator of each term is the same, which is x. And to find the LCD of a rational equation having the same denominator, just simply copy the denominator. So in this case, our LCD now is simply x. Let's have this second example. Find the LCD of 3x over 2x plus 3 is equal to 5 over 2x plus 3. So as observed, our denominator is the same, so thus our LCD is just 2x plus 3. The first two examples illustrate that if you find the LCD of a rational equation having the same denominator, you just have to simply copy the denominator. So in the first example, so our LCD is x and our next example which is the second one is 2x plus 3. How about if the denominators are different just like this third example? What should we do? So I have here two simple steps taken from a YouTuber which I also find helpful and even easy to comprehend. Okay first is we need to factor each term. So our denominators are x plus 1 and x plus 2. And these terms are fully, completely factored, meaning no further factoring is possible. Okay? And our next step, the second one, is write each factor, not duplicating the common ones. So the LCD, or there is no common terms here. Okay? So the LCD is just the expressions which are the quantity x plus 1 and x plus 2. These terms are already factored. Now, our second step is write each factor, but we're gonna or we're not going to duplicate those terms. So we have now, uh, so we so x here is a common term of the two ter is the is the common multiple of these two terms. So we will not duplicate x. So our LCD now is 2 and x, or simply 2x. Example number 5. Find the LCD of 3 over 6x is equal to 5x over 10x squared. So, we need to uh, factor each term in the denominator. So, we have a 6x is equal to... 2 times 3 times x. So I'm using the factors 2 and 3 because these numbers are prime numbers. So in getting the LCD, factors of a number should be prime because this is also known as the prime factorization. Okay? Because if you're using 1 and 6, 1 is neither prime nor composite and 6 is a composite number. So uh, 2 and 3 are the only factors which are prime. And then 
for 10x squared, so we have 2 times 5 times, okay, we will break x squared into x times x, okay? And then 2 and 5 here are also prime numbers. Okay, to get the LCD, we need to write each factor, but we will not duplicate the common ones. Okay, so here, the common uh, factors are 2, so we will not duplicate 2, so 2, and then times, we also have 3, okay, times, and then 5, okay, 5 times, okay, so uh, x is common for both terms or in both terms, so we have x here and then times this x, okay, so we will multiply all of this, okay, we will guess. So we have 2 times 3, that is 6, times 5, that is 30. So this is our coefficient, and x times x is x squared. So 30x squared is our LCD. Uh, example number 6. So find the LCD of 1 over 2x plus 4 is equal to 5 over x squared plus 5x plus 6. So let's uh, factor the binomial. 2x plus 4, so just this GCF of these terms, which is 2, and then we have x plus 2, okay? And then um, let's factor the trinomial x squared plus 5x plus 6, okay? So just think of two numbers wherein if you multiply, it becomes positive 6, and when you add, it becomes positive 5. So we can think of the numbers 2 and 3 because 2 times 3 is 6. And if we add these two numbers, 2 and 3, it becomes 5. So the factors now of this trinomial is x plus 2 um, times the quantity of x plus 3. So you can double check using the FOIL method. Okay? So our LCD now is... We have 2, so we will crush out 2. And then x plus 2, we will not duplicate x plus 2. So, wait. so we have here x plus 2 and then x plus 3. And that is now our LCD. Okay, let's find the LCD of 1 over x plus 3 plus 1 over x minus 3 is equal to 5 over x squared minus 9. So we have x plus 3. We cannot, uh, it is already factored. No? And also x minus 3 is already factored. So now let's just factor x squared minus 9. Okay? So Think of a number that if you multiply, it becomes negative 9. And if you add, it becomes 0. So in this case, um, if we have the factors um, negative 1 times 9, it is negative 9. But if you add this, it is not equal to 0. This is positive 8. So we will not be using these factors. 1 and 9, or negative 1 and 9. So let's try another. So we have negative 3 times 3. So negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. If we add negative 3 and 3, is it 0? Yes, exactly. So we will be using the factors negative 3 and 3. So we have now x minus 3 the quantity of x minus 3, and the quantity of x plus 3, okay? So our LCD now is, so let, let me just uh, place a parenthesis. So our LCD now is, uh, we have x plus 3. We will not duplicate x plus 3. And then we also have x minus 3, okay? So we will not duplicate. Okay, so the LCD now of this rational equation is the quantity of x plus 3 and x minus 3. Okay, let's proceed now to our last example. Find the LCD of 1 over x minus 3 
plus 1 over x minus 4 is equal to 5 over x squared minus 7x plus 12. Okay, so let's begin with x minus 3. So this is already factored and at the same time, x minus 4 is already factored. So we'll just factor out x squared minus 7x plus 12. Okay, so again, we think of two numbers that if we multiply, it becomes 12. And if we add, it becomes negative 7. Okay, so what are those uh, numbers? So can we try 6 and 12? Okay, so we have 6 times, uh, no, 6 and 2, I mean. So 6 and 2. So 6 times 2 is 12. But is 6 plus 2 is equal to negative 7? No. Okay, let's try another factors of 12. So let's say it's um, 12 and 1. Okay, so 12 times 1 is 12. Okay, but is 12 plus 1 negative 7? No, it's not. It's 13. So it's positive. These are positive. That if you add, when you add, these are positive numbers. So maybe, so since this is negative 7, so we can use two numbers which are negative numbers, right? Because if we multiply two negative numbers, the result is a positive number. So can we try negative 6 times negative 2? Negative 6 times negative 2 is positive 12. But is it negative 6 plus negative 2 is negative 7? Okay, again, it's not. Okay, so what if we'll be, we will choose, how about a negative 3 times negative 4? Negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12, right? So how about if we add these two negative integer? So we have negative 3 plus negative 4. That is, okay, it's negative 7. So this is now the factors. So the factors will be uh, negative 3 and negative 4. So okay, we, we can write it here. So x squared minus 7x plus 12 is the same as the quantity of x minus 3 times the quantity of x minus 4. So the LCD now is we have uh, x minus 3, okay, and x minus 4. Okay, that's it. On this session, let's have a recap. To find the LCD of rational equations of similar denominator, just copy the denominator. And if it is different or dissimilar, um, you just have to follow the two steps, which are first, factor each term. And after we factor each, we're going to write each factor to be the common multiple, but we're not going to duplicate those terms. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video.